Hey everybody, Scott the Uncensored Chef here with another basic skills video. Today we're going to touch on another one of my favorite way to prepare eggs. We're going to do some sunny side up eggs today. Alright, so today, sunny side up eggs. Really, it's a very simple process that unfortunately a lot of people try to rush through and that's why you end up getting not properly cooked sunny side up eggs. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to start with a nice hot pan, which I have going right here, and we're going to use a about a tablespoon and a half of vegetable oil. Now the big thing for sunny side up eggs is starting with very hot heat, getting your eggs in the pan, letting the whites coagulate nice and quickly, then turning your heat down to finish the rest of the cooking. Because we don't want to cook that the yolk all the way through and we want to keep it really nice and runny, but we want the whites to be fully set, we really need to control our heat. That's a very important part of the cooking process here. So now that we've got our pan nice and hot and that oil is good to go, get it all over the pan and again we're just going to take our eggs. So using one egg to crack the other for the first one and right in we go. And you can hear right away that our pan is nice and hot so it's going to coagulate those whites really nice and quickly. We're going to put the second egg in right beside it. Now basically as soon as you get those eggs in and the whites stop running and they'll start to cook. We're going to turn our heat down from a high to a just a little below medium high heat. Now, you can take your spatula, and I do always recommend cooking eggs with a spatula. It's something that we've done in kitchens for a long time. It just makes things a lot easier. It takes a little while to get used to, but once you do, I think you'll find it's a lot easier for you as well. So. My pan is nice and oily, so we get a good movement on there. But now what we're really going to do is we're just going to let these cook. Now, the reason that you need to turn your heat down is because you're going to need the residual heat from the bottom of the pan is going to try have to cook all this liquid white here that's still unset. And if you have your heat too high, you're going to end up burning your edges all the way around. So we're just going to keep that nice and light and just kind of let it do its thing right now. We're just going to let it cook. Moving it around a little bit just to get a little bit more heat distribution. Now the other way you can kind of, and I'm going to use air quotes here, cheat, is you can take your spatula and again right on those whites is you can make a little hole inside them just so they reach the bottom of the pan so they'll cook a little bit faster and you'll get a little bit more heat to the actual whites. As you can see, our eggs are cooking up nicely, and because of the temperature that we have, we're not getting any major overcooking on the edges of our eggs. We're going to keep that really, really nice, clean, white look to them. So, giving them a little shake, you can see those yolks are really, really, really undercooked right now. So, we're just going to let, have to let that sit and cook just for a little bit longer. Runny yolks are important, but you absolutely have to make sure that the yolks are cooked. Undercooked yolks are obviously something that can be potentially dangerous. You can possibly contaminate your guest with your, the person you're serving these to with salmonella. The likelihood of that is low, but you want to make sure that you, you do bring them up to a decent temperature and that they're not cold in the center. So now that we look back over here one more time, we can see that our whites are 100% coagulated on the inside. Just around the yolk is where it's just a little bit liquidy, but those yolks are now set in place inside the actual white, and those eggs are pretty much good to go. At this point, I turn my heat off. I'm going to let these sit probably for another 10-15 seconds before I take them out of the pan. Use my spatula just to separate them to make them a little bit easier for transport. Now you notice that the last little bit of cooking just crisped up the edges just a little bit, which is perfect. Now at the very end, all I'm going to add on top of here is a little couple pinches of kosher salt and a healthy crack of fresh pepper. And right there you've got yourself some very tasty, properly cooked sunny side eggs. So that's it. That's sunny side eggs. So. Thank you for watching. 
I'm Scott the Uncensored Chef. If you've liked what you've seen, please, please grab that subscriber button, give us a follow, check out our content, and give us the motivation to keep going. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.